Hello friends, welcome to Insights I Can Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about Gaganyaan. Before we start the uh, topic, first let us see the theme of the day. In today's theme of the day, we are going to see how the questions can be framed from space technology and what are the focused areas in the space technology. In the space technology, you have to focus on various launches which are committed by ISRO as well as NASA and some other space agencies and missiles in news regarding that first to do that means first kind of missiles like you know like any missiles which is related to first like you know Chandrayaan 3 landed for the first time those kind of things special focus on ISRO launches Gaganyaan Chandrayaan and all these things and features of those particular missions what are the applications that means what is the significance of that particular mission then orbits and satellites used in such launch and which orbit it is going to be launched for example regarding the aditya aditya mission is going to be launched at l1 point tell me guys what does l1 means okay now let us see some sample questions on the this particular area the first question consider the following statements about the mangalyan this question is regarding the mangalyan and they given these three statements it is also called as a mars orbiter mission obviously right made in india the second country to have a spacecraft orbit the mars after usa not the second country few countries been achieved this made india the only country to be successful in making this spacecraft orbit in the for the first attempt is yes. india was the first country to achieve this feat you know like for the first time in the first attempt so this is one sample question one more sample question with reference to IRNSS actually IRNSS stands for Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System consider the following they given three statements this has a three satellites in geostationary and four satellites in the geosynchronous S total seven satellites it covers entire India and about 5500 square kilometers beyond its border okay this is the wrong one India will have its own satellite navigation system with full global coverage by the mid of 2019 no it is not possible because at the moment also we don't have the full fully operational navigation system so both these two statements are wrong and the first statement is right a one only i hope you understood how the questions are coming from this area now let us discuss about today's topic that is gaganyan okay and some of the uh, space based mains question are like this what are india's plans to have its own space station and how will it benefit our space program this is regarding the india's space station you know at the moment we are having the international space station it is a joint collaboration among various nations this is how the questions can be asked in terms of mains so today's focused area is gaganyan and here you can see the gaganyan rocket the of course is a test flight we tested this we will, we will see what is the name of this test flight as well in today's launch we tested two things one is we tested the test flight because it is comparatively very less expensive compared to the test flight which is based on the uh, gslv uh, technology compared to that this test flight is less in cost and we also tested the crew module okay so in this entire mission there are different modules are there i will explain that out of these modules crew module and service module this will be in the top of this particular mission actual mission will be like this so this will be the launching vehicle and this will be the crew escape system and we will have orbital module okay i will explain various components don't worry first we will see how this is related to your syllabus this particular topic is related to gs paper 3 science and technology the sub component space technology video components why it is in news and what is Gaganyan we will discuss aims and objectives of Gaganyan significance of Gaganyan for India and the potential benefits of Gaganyan mission and what are the challenges involved in the Gaganyan mission launch so these are the our focused areas in this video obviously you know that Gaganyan is all about the Indian Space Agency ISRO launching humans into space it is a space flight how many days it is going to be launched it is going to be there for three days how many astronauts we are sending we are trying to send three people okay how far they will go they'll go up to 400 kilometers above the earth surface now one question to you students which country is training our astronauts which country is training our astronauts put your answer in the comment section so this will be the Gaganyan 
and this entire thing is a launching vehicle okay launching vehicle launching vehicle which contain solid fuel liquid fuel cryogenic fuel on top of this this orbital module orbital module means the one which orbits around the earth actually orbital module again consists of two more modules crew module service module crew module means here astronauts will be there it provides suitable condition to astronauts whereas a service module it will do the service required to the crew module okay and it also provide the necessary supply for the entire operation as well how many astronauts we are trying to send three astronauts okay and they are planning to spend uh, you know like how many days in the space it is originally three days but let's see how many days it will be extended now you must understand that the various components this orbital module includes crew module as well as a service module and the top of is crew escape system what is this crew escape system in case if there is an emergency in case if they find any faults in the launch then after the launch is started at any point of time if astronauts want to abort the system if they want to come out of that uh, that launching vehicle they can activate the crew escape system and they can come back to the ocean today we tested the crew escape system without crew okay today we tested the crew escape system without crew that is what today's main goal is so today we tested two things number one is test vehicle test vehicle the this is a test vehicle and the other one is the crew escape system the crew escape system tested so after the launch after the launch this uh, it was triggered crew escape system was triggered after it triggered you know like this crew escape system it traveled further and the parachutes activated it resulted to the safe landing of the crew module crew module safely landed 10 kilometers away from the sri harikota space station and that crew module been collected by the indian navy okay this is what we tested in the original condition also if they detect any uh, faults this way crew module this crew escape system will be activated so the crew module will be detached from the rest of the operation and the crew module will splash down onto the ocean so we can save the crew this is the reason we tested actually for the safety condition only isro even extended the deadline of the gaganyaan as well so i hope you understood what we tested in today let's see the news in today we tested the this test flight test vehicle d1 test vehicle d1 we tested as well as we also tested the crew escape system and this will be the first of the two abort mission abort mission means in case if there is any fault they should be able to abort it and in spite of that abortion of the mission the crew should be able to successfully land so this is going this will be the first one and second one also will be tested without crew and the third one is going to be with crew so gaganyaan gaganyaan is about the human space flight human crew how much the you know like height 400 kilometers and bringing them safely back to the indian ocean water the cost is around 9023 in the real scenario the launching vehicle we are going to use gslv mark 3 also known as lvm3 as this launch vehicle is modified in a way that uh, astronauts can survive so that is the reason we are now calling it as a human rated launch vehicle mark 3 human rated lvm3 now let's see so in the space obviously you don't have a gravity so astronauts should be trained to work in a uh, you know like gravity less conditions okay in a uh, weightless conditions for that indian astronauts they've been trained with russia russia is offering the training to operate in weightless condition collaborative partners are indian armed forces drdo indian meteorological department and indian maritime organizations some academic institutions csar labs and industry partners these are the partners involved in this particular mission and what are the main main aim and objective of this mission human space capability that means sending humans into space and encouraging more into scientific career these are the various stages in this particular gaganyaan the first one we will we'll see integrated airdrop when 
crew module is airdrop whether the parachutes are opening or not that will be tested it was tested test vehicle missions again now we are in this today we done the test vehicle mission pad about test we also done the pad about test as well now this is the remaining one unmanned flight then manned flight so these are the going to be the various phases in the gaganyaan like i mentioned earlier orbital module orbital module consists of crew module as well as the service module service module it hosts propulsion system thermal system power system various avionics which are required for the crew module whereas a crew module it's it, it try to simulate earth like conditions earth like environment and it provides human centric products provides life support and uh, you know like de deceleration system like whatever the conditions required on earth those kind of conditions will be simulated through this crew module what is the significance of this mission it helps in india's aim for self resilience reliance that means we don't need to depend on other countries to send astronauts into space it will enhance our robotic program and r&d focus on our regional needs so with the launch of this we can we can meet our regional needs and it will also strengthen our international partnership with other countries so whenever other countries want to launch their astronaut into the space our mission can be helpful so these are some of the beneficiaries industry and innovation can be increased challenges human survival technology especially this crew escape system i mean designing that without any faults and they should be very effective so that in case in any uh, about is required crew should be able to uh, you know like saved in a very effective manner human safety i mean to say yugi yuri gagarin was the first human who was who went to space in 1961 so isro established in 1969 india's rakesh sharma also went on into space in 1969 apollo mission and india planning to launch its own space station not gaganyaan own space station that is known as spadex by 2030 in january 2022 china announced their their plans of having their own space space station tiangyang and blue origin is own space station related to amazon jeff bezos actually blue as amazon blue origin is the aerospace company and their project name is orbital reef it is about their own space station these are some of the own space station aspirations related to various countries and corporates next conclusion the conclusion is in terms of the space technology the manned human space program the manned mission is going to be significant stage and by making this in a very successful way india can be a part of the very elite club this is our conclusion yesterday's video question let's see this hepatitis virus is not an rna virus which one is not an rna virus hepatitis b is not an rna virus now let's see today's question today's prelims question consider the following statement regarding the gaganya read these three statements and pick the right one and put your answer in the comment section main sick what is the importance of gaganyan mission to india so why it is important to india discuss various challenges related to this mission what are the challenges this is the main question now as we are reaching to the end of this video let us revise very quickly so in this video we discussed about gaganyan and what what are the equipments we tested one is the test flight as well as the crew escape system we tested and we discussed about various components in the gaganyan apart from that we also discussed about challenges significance of the gaganyan and we also discussed about various space station plans from various countries and this is the detailed analysis regarding the gaganyan space mission